Listen, I get it. This is only the second video in the series, and we're already on the Supersonic Legend, but hear me out. I never said I had to do this series in order. I never said I had to go bronze, you know, then silver, and then, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, so, make sure you guys stick around to the end of this interview with the Supersonic Legend, because uh, he has some pretty interesting tips and pointers. And I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching, and enjoy. So we're doing 2v2s. This is our supersonic legend. Say hello, Hopper. What's up, boys and girls? <laughs> I'm about to get fucking smacked, but that's okay, because I got some questions that need to be answered. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. All right, so if you had to explain this game to someone who has no idea what Rocket League is, never seen a video or nothing, like, how would you do it? Um, hmm, that's a good question. So from beginner, from a beginner standpoint, right? You have no idea what the what's going on in the game whatsoever, right? You're just yep. gonna you're just gonna meme around. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the around. whole yeah, just meme around. Like eventually you'll get the the gist of the game, right? Like you'll start to understand how to jump, all that type stuff, and then it becomes really fun. And I think a part of me uh, thinks that that's what makes Rocket League so fun. And the big thing is that there's so many places that you can improve on even at like a beginner level that I think new players should look forward to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually the answer to my second. My second question was, what are some tips for somebody who uh, just picked up the game? But the first question was more like, how would you explain the game? Like if they've never uh, seen it, like like what type of game is it? <laughs> well, obviously it's soccer with, <laughs> uh, you know, cars that have this thing called, uh, a, little, a little thing called boost, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and the objective, right, is to score on the opponent's net as many times as possible. All right, and and the another objective is to save the ball. You feel me? Because you don't want to get scored on. You know what I'm saying? Like these kids. See what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that, dude. <laughs> All right, what's what's... Oh. <gasps> mm. Nut. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally letting you carry. Like, I'm passing you the ball whenever I can and not doing anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your favorite car in the game? Uh, Fennec, 100%. Just because, like, it's it's a really solid car. It's an octane hitbox, and it feels more like the octane hitbox. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I, I honestly agree with you, dude. My favorite car in the game is the Fennec. Yeah, yeah. It used to be octane, and then, you know... I don't want to be like everybody else. <laughs> I, yo, I, I used to main the Octane, all right? Then the Finnick came out. It was just like my savior, you know what I'm saying? I feel that, dude. Honestly. And I don't know if this is true or not, but, like, the fucking Finnick has a better turn radius, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, my I agree. The Octane feels like it turns really slow. Yeah. Mm. I, I think it's I think it's because of the way the, the car is shaped. It's all like a placebo thing. Which I'm fine with. You know, the faster I feel, the better. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> they left. No. Uh, wait, are we literally in the game with two bots right now? Yes, we are. I thought it would... Unless somebody's trying to... Okay, yeah, somebody was trying to join. I was about to say, that should have been a forfeit. Oh, I fucked it. Oops. Mm. Alright, if you uh, could change one thing about the game, what would it be? Hmm... Definitely Psyonic's taking full control over the game again. Because Epic has made some unnecessary changes to the game, in my honest opinion. Um, servers have been pretty bad. They've gone down. They literally just went down fucking two times in a row in two days. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's become a problem, you know? Especially for the new players. Like, the free-to-play players, you know, you don't want any, uh, like your first impression of the game to be that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bad impressions. I do agree. I feel like Psyonix ran the game better. But no matter what, like who develops the game, there's always going to be. Because I remember back when Psyonix uh, was, you know, the developer. Mm -hmm. There was still problems with the server. They're not near, they weren't near as bad as they are now, but there were, people still complained about the servers. Right, yeah, exactly. I mean, you're always going to have problems with servers, but it comes to a point where it just becomes too much, you know? Yeah. Um, do you really care about the design of your car? So personally, uh, no. I mean, 
Yeah, no, I'm not really too big into cosmetics. Like, from my standpoint, I just play the game to get better and to eventually become pro. Hopefully, that's the goal. So, cosmetics really isn't, like, a thing that I, I take too seriously. Obviously, I want, like, a nice little clean car, like what I have right now. It's not too bad. Yeah, so you go for more of, like, a sweaty, like, setup than, like, a flashy one? Yeah, yeah, I'd say, yeah. Because not only that, but, like, if you have... And, and most pros will say this to you, and most like top <clears throat> top 100 players will say this to you but some decals can distract you some some boosts can distract you depending on you know how poofy they are i guess you could say yeah um that's why you see so many pros rocking like the alpha boost or like a standard boost because it, it doesn't obstruct your vision at all you know what i'm saying i really do like the alpha boost because you can't even see it on your screen like i'm using it on baka's mod i don't have alpha boost but yeah yeah hold back uh, up here Oh. 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 <laughs> Damn, that's Montage Shot. <laughs> he said GG. Unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, who's your, uh, if you have one, who's your favorite pro to watch? Damn. Number um, one. probably Arsenal, just because his personality is, like, out of this world. He's probably the funniest pro, in my opinion. Other than Sis, well... Sis is a close second to Arsenal, yeah, in my opinion. Sis, in I like Sis. And you know, when I, when I watch like pros, like it's like I can do all that, but it's not it's not about the mechanics or about the play. It's just like it's about the personality and how they act. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and if you had a content creator, you, the same question basically. Man, YouTube content creators on Rocket League. I don't know. That, that's a tough <laughs> one. Hey, um, probably probably uh, Rizzo. Probably Rizzo, really, yeah. Rizzo. Yeah. He's, he's pretty dope. Yeah, I like Rizzo too. But if I had to pick a content creator, though, probably. Mine would probably be. I don't know, man. That's a hard question. Yeah, it is. It is a pretty hard question. I would. I probably watch more Summer's Con videos than anything. Eh. I mean personal preference i guess you know what i'm saying well just for entertainment value obviously like i'm not watching him to get tips and shit <laughs> yeah yeah he's pretty entertaining um and then what's the hardest part about the game mm. for you hmm. I'm trying to think man that's that's a hard question because everything about this game is hard in terms of improving um damn I'd have to say the number one thing uh, is improving your game sense in this game, in my opinion. I like that's, that that's answer, probably, man. That, yeah, that's probably that's probably the hardest part uh, of this game. That's also the most underrated thing in this game. People don't give enough credit to people who are good at game sense. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and I agree, hundred percent. Like in my opinion, I think Let the Mirror is my favorite pro. Obviously, he's not a pro anymore. Right. But, uh, like, I don't know, man. I just feel like he's the smartest player that I've watched as far as, like, knowing where to be at all times. He, he is probably the smartest player out there. Is there any way you can cut this, by the way? I gotta go take my dog out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can cut it. All right, be back. Be back. All right. We're back. We're back. All right. Hey, that was actually the last question, man. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you left right after the last one. Oh, my um, God. Yeah, so, uh, hey, thank you, Hopper, for being in the video, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. And I'm sure all these other little ranked people, uh, people like me uh, appreciate it. You have a good May, man. Hey, you too, bro. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And I'm sorry about some of the audio during the video. It got corrupted. Uh, hopefully, it was still bearable for you guys. I'm going to try to do better on that. But hey, if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bells to keep up with more videos. And if you want to hang out with me on Twitch, uh, follow me at TTV slash Y'all have a great day. Thank you for stopping by and peace out.